Hello everybody, my name is Aceface, we're here in Losek. I've got a little base out here that I made. It's composed of a purifier and a prospect so far. Uh, not a whole lot of stuff. Actually, no, we're not even in the uh, the Losek system. We were on the way to the Losek uh, base that I made. So now we're just in the prospect. And this is where I thought would be a good place to be able to farm clone soldiers. And clone soldiers are pretty decent. They are these rats you can encounter in Losek. And you find them in all low sec, but the best ones are found in the 0 0.1 low sec systems because you've got different tiers of clone soldier rats, and they're found in the asteroid belts. So you warp to an asteroid belt, sometimes they can spawn there. These drop these tags, and the tags are very, like, very, very valuable. So I just want to show you guys what we'll be doing here, and we can see if we can find some clone soldiers. I don't think we're going to find any right now, because it's usually quite rare that I find them, but I'll explain to you guys the setup I've got, because it's actually quite cool, quite cheap, and quite fun, in my opinion, and it's a chill style. So we're going to take this prospect to low sec, because I was thinking of having this prospect by testing out sometime maybe some mining of the dark ochre. The dark ochre is the really valuable ore that you can encounter in low sec. If we go here, go in the asteroid belts think that if we do low security is there any dark ochre anywhere see it's pretty rare i think mm, can't really find it too many too many places here but there are at least pretty valuable ores to be found in low sec so that's why i've got this prospect on the way is there a single one any dark ochre anywhere it might be that they're found in asteroid belts, like these anomaly asteroid belts, perhaps. Could be something. Well, I've been using this uh, purifier, which we'll get to. I like using the little ship because it's, uh, I think it's a pretty cool looking ship. It can do a lot of DPS and is very sneaky being able to cover ops cloak all over the place. I've been trying it out on clone soldier hunting and I've also tried it in these besieged cover research facilities. And the besieged cover research facilities, they are... Uh, these sites which you can encounter quite commonly in Losec, uh, where you have the Mordu NPCs. It would have been really nice if it was possible to do them, but unfortunately I can't. And the reason is because in these besieged Cobra or research facilities, you can encounter the Mordu's Legion battleships. And there are different types of Mordu's Legion battleships. One is called Mordu's Legion Commander as a battleship, and then there's another Mordu's Legion battleship called just Mordu's Legion Battleship. So that is someone you want to be very careful with because they, are going, you're going to have a very hard time uh, tanking them in a small ship because they're, uh, they're tracking, they like ignore tracking you could say, they have perfect tracking. So even if I'm going after burning going very quickly, they're going to have maximum tracking all the time. I read it on the Eve Ref that it said something that they have maximum tracking or they ignore tracking values. So I noticed that I was taking a lot of damage from them. It didn't matter that I was a tiny little ship with an afterburner, I was still taking tons of damage. So it was a bit unfortunate, it's just the way it is. You can see here, Hemor fight is also pretty a pretty valuable ore here. Not as much as Dark Oka, but still pretty valuable. And there we go, now we're here, we've got this dock part here. This is the same system, I believe, that I encountered those, that gate camp near station, where we encountered this scorpion. That's what made me sort of stay here in this system. I thought it was a pretty cool looking system. Where are all the ores? Hemorphite. Otherwise, it seems like Hemorphite is the absolute most valuable one. And there's even Hemorphite to be found here. That's, that's pretty cool. And we can mine at a rate of 12.6, 12.6 times 700 times 3,600. Means we can get about 30 million Iskana by mining Hemorphite. So, I mean, 13 million Iskana is okay for mining, especially in the frigate, but it's pretty decent. But in low sec, I feel like you should get a bit more considering the risk you have here. Okay, so now we're here in low. We've got Stealth Fury here. This is the same ship that I used to try to harass that gate camp we encountered a few days ago. If we just clean this here. This thing, I've been using this to hunt close soldiers and it's actually been going pretty well. I've got a strategy here, which I've been doing. It's been working out pretty well. You can see this, we've got a sol clone soldier negotiated. So if we find one of them, 42 million smackaroons straight away. 
you can see here this is pretty valuable and this is basically paying my whole ship a little bit less than my ship value but oh, basically the ship value being paid for by one of these guys so i think it's a pretty good price to perform what we've got going on and <laughs> And I also like the way that we've got the purifier here, which is cover obscapable. So it is a pretty relaxing environment just because of how we are sneaking around in it everywhere without being able to get caught. So what I do is I've just been warping from asteroid belt to asteroid belt. And then I've been searching for these guys. Another thing that I want to do out of this station is I want to be able to have... Uh, an ability to do these events so the winter nexus events for example or the blood raider events etc i want to be able to do them outside of these stations here what's that enslaver wreck that looks a bit strange here why does it look strange the icon looks strange oh, why it looks this weird but i want to be able to do these events in low because they're always more valuable in low sec so we'll try to get some ships here maybe a retribution or whatever kind of ship is able to do events in low second try to focus on being good at that as well when the seasonal changes come because they can be usually very valuable the low sec variants of event sites so just warp system system they're quite rare these clone soldiers so it's unlikely that we'll encounter one but i mean maybe we could find one there's a possibility we can find them but you're quite uncommon I just grow through them and i like to sort them by name here so then i don't if i sort of by distance then they're going to be moving all around and now i can just go down through them so then i know that i'd be in this one and this one so now i'm in this one here but it's pretty cool in this ship because it's like relaxing you know you've got the stealth going on so you can just uh don't have to think about people hunting you you're not going to be waking as much suspicion as if you are walking around in a regular ship oh, some oh look at that we've got a clone soldier that's perfect okay so you know what, we're, this is what I do to take care of these guys. So we're going to have to be tactical here. We have to go and do not get declocked by the wrecks we've got there. Cannibal wreck, okay. And we need to get close to this guy. We need to get very close. Now what we do here is then when we're close, we orbit at 500. But I don't want to get too close to these guys. These guys can cause problems because they'll declock me if I get too close. So we're going to go a little bit to the side here. And we have to also just be aware that there could perhaps be people coming in here who are going to wreck us. But we're clocked up, so hopefully it will be alright. But this is the idea here, is that I go and orbit very close. Bronx Star Forge, part of Fraternity, okay. Because this guy doesn't have the best tracking. He has a missile launcher that can hit us, but otherwise the tracking is not the best. So if we're orbiting really close, we can actually speed tank him pretty well. So look, this is where we orbit 500. And then we just wait until we get decloaked and then we can, and then we can just uh, target him. There we go. Activate afterburner and target painter on. And there we go. Now we just get to work on this guy. He is pretty difficult to destroy because he's got a good active tank. But it's alright. It's alright. It's not too bad. We can get through him. He's just got a pretty big active tank. So even though you can see that we will be taking, like doing pretty big volleys, he'll repair it up a lot. So we're just going to have to chip away at him. But as you can see here, we're able to tank pretty decently by orbiting close like this. It's not too bad at all. And we do take some damage. Not like massive damage, but we do take some damage. But it's just the thing is we've got a an armor repair here that helps with that. And we take more damage in our shield because we've got low EM resist. He does EM to us, so we have more EM resist in the armor plus an armor repair. So uh, we're not going to have much problem. We're not going to have much issue with the armor. Oh, am I running out of ammunition? Could be good to have good ammunition. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So now this is where we want to just make sure that we can take him out properly here. I wonder if it could be an idea to just go at a slight angle, then maybe we'll apply a bit better. But we are doing about 50% of our potential damage. He's got 70% something. Uh, 
70% something resists, so about a little bit less than a fourth of the damage we'll be doing. So that could be over 1k volley we should be getting, but we're doing 500. Could test here going slightly to the side. Does that make any difference? No, I don't think it makes much of a difference. Orbit 500. In fact, I think we're taking more damage ourselves. And we're doing even less damage here, look at that. Oh, oh, he wrecked a wrecking shot. That's something that can occur. Because wrecking shots just don't care about your tracking or anything. But we'll just uh, have to repair it up, basically. Not too much, not too complicated. I've got an Ishtar. I don't know what an Ishtar is doing. But we just do like this, you see. Get all that armor wrapped up, and that's it. We just need to be a bit careful with our capacitor, but it's okay. Deactivate this, deactivate this, and we have uh, no okay capacitor. And a lot less damage now that we've got the armor. You can see 24 instead of 50, because we've got better resist, so yeah. In our armor. We're just slowly chipping away. As you can see here. Would it be nice to have extra tracking? An extra a web, for example, or a target painter? It would be helpful here. Instead of this disruptor not really doing much. Could be good if we encountered a PvP situation. Just keep on orbiting. Have to be patient. And have to keep an eye on these scan as well. And there we go. And then we warp away. Oh, I didn't really warp properly. But you see here, we get a quick 42 million. This in the, in this case, I was very lucky where I just encountered the clone soldiers straight away, but they can often be quite hard to find. I think an average, I would say, is maybe three an hour. It's a long time since I was doing it like this farming for a long time, but I think three an hour is a normal estimate of what you can get by doing this back to back but you see here like it's nice because we're in a risky environment in low sec but it's not too bad we're able to get around pretty safely with the covert ops clocking device on top of that we then have a pretty cool little chip that can cause some damage when uh, if people are messing around with gate camps and then we've also got the ability to just replace the whole ship with just one of these tags here so i like that a lot I like what we've way we're able to get here. <laughs> so that's just me showing off a little bit of what I've been doing in Losek here with some clone soldier hunting recently. Uh, I want to try out some mining as well, but uh, this is what I want to be have a little bit of a base, mini base, for when events come up in Losek, and I want to do them here so then I have some ships ready to roll. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's enough for now. Purify, have a little bit of a fun time in Losek. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.